have any of your assistants interviewed for other jobs, and do you expect them all to be back? Yeah, there, there is some, uh, some interest from some other um, universities, and I'm thrilled about it. I think that this is long overdue. They are really ready to be coaches. And the fact that we've been together for six years, continuity for six years, that doesn't happen very often. And they are really ready to be head coaches. And if they want to, they ask me for advice all the time. They are, they're asked a lot of people uh, about some things. And if they have the opportunity, I think it's wonderful. Don't want to lose any of them. But I, if they have the opportunity, I think it's great. Multiple assistants have, inter have talked to schools or just? Uh, we have, there's interest in, in, in our assistants. Okay, and is Bakari interview I, with Troy? Yeah, I have, I'm not going to give you any particulars. That's okay. that's their business. Okay. And you talked about the staff earlier, potent, the potential now, yeah. of, you know, maybe seeing some turnover there. Yeah. Um, you know, what's the balance between that stability, which yeah. is obviously a good thing to have, but then also fresh perspective. You know, a new yeah. a new guy in the room. What would what's where's that kind of all? How's that play itself? Well, it, out? Yeah, it, once again, I don't want do not want that to happen, but I understand it. But when we go back, when Val and Bakari and Jeff first came with me. It gave me some great perspective. Being the only head coach my whole life, I love I I love new perspectives. So if if it happens, I'll embrace. I'll be so happy if one of these guys gets an opportunity to be a head coach because they deserve it. That's number one. But then I will also say, okay, how do we make the best of this? If we indeed have to, if we hire someone else, how can we get someone who is going to plug? It's almost like putting your roster together. Who best fits? what we need to grow this team, to recruit, to, to positional development, what do we need? So you just, if you embrace it, I'm going to embrace it either way. If, if, if we have that staff back, it's tremendous, and then, but how can we all get better as a staff? Because that's what's important, the game changes, the climate, the, or the, uh, the climate of recruiting changes, how can we get better? So are, are, you, a, are you a guy who has this operating short? You're, you're talking to a guy who had, this is my ninth job, I've moved you know, nine different times, so I, I embrace the change that these guys could have. Well, I've never covered you actually making a, a hire like this, so do you have a do you have a list of a few guys who you have in, not, in mind, or no, do you I, have but, an but, interview? No, every time that I go out on the road, I, I often, I'm not like a guy that, that doesn't talk with assistants. I love sitting with assistants, getting to know them and talking with them, because you just never know. So I, I'm sure that there will not be a shortage of applicants if this happens. Yeah, that's that I do of quality, really qualified people. However, we'll cross that bridge when it comes to it. Right now, I got a great staff, and if they all stay. I, I, it would make me feel great.